Hello friends, this video on diversity in living organisms part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us talk about the next class that is reptiles. So let us look at the characteristic of reptiles. They mostly live on land. Scales are present over reptiles. Now the scales in case of reptiles are a little different than the scales which were present on fishes. So here the scales increases the skin's resistance to water so that uh, it, it is kind of a waterproof for the animal. So some scales are even modified to form spines and they are used for protection. So here what is the purpose of scales? To increase resistance to water. Increase resistance to water. Sometimes the scales are modified to spines and spines are used for protection. And here the scales are not permanent. As in case of fishes, we saw that the scales are permanent. They do not go off on its own. But in case of uh, reptiles, they, they are not permanent. So shading of scales also happens. So shading also happens. So they are temporary. Now respiration happens through lungs, movement through crawling. When I talk of reptiles, the examples would be lizards. So the best example, lizard. So you can see some scales are present there, but they may be shaded in due course of time in their lifetime. Respiration through lungs, movement through crawling. They are also cold blooded. That is, they take the temperature of the surroundings. Three chambered heart like amphibians. Exception is crocodile who has a four chambered heart. So crocodile has a four chambered heart. Now examples of uh, reptiles would be lizards, turtles, crocodiles, chameleon. Reproduction, they lay eggs. So examples are turtle, snakes, lizards, crocodile. They are all examples of reptiles. Right? Okay. So let us go to the next class that is Aves. So what do you think we are left out with now? We covered the fishes, we covered the reptiles, we covered the amphibians. So we are left with a very important thing now that is the birds. We did not discuss about them. So Aves is going to talk about the birds. So in birds, scales are absent, no scales. Respiration through lungs, movement through feathers and modified forelimbs. So you would have seen that for birds, how do they move from one place to another? They generally fly. They can also walk, right? So for that, they have four feathers and their forelimbs are also modified. They are warm-blooded. So that is a difference now. Warm-blooded means they tend to keep their temperature of their body constant. So if the external temperature or the temperature of the surroundings is very high, if the surroundings are hot, they try to cool themselves by doing something, maybe by sweating or by uh, moving their feathers, they try to cool themselves. Similarly, if the outside weather is very cold, they try to increase their internal body temperature. So they try to warm themselves with the help of the feathers. They have a four chambered heart and the reproduction is again through laying eggs. So examples of birds, there are a variety of birds available. Something like pigeon, crow and sparrow are something which we see in our day-to-day -day life. Nearby the water regions, you would have seen these white stork or ducks. And there are also birds like ostrich, which are not very commonly seen everywhere. Right? So not only these, there are many varieties of birds which are present. So let us look at the last class now, that is mammals. So what are mammals? Humans, animals like cat, rat, monkeys, whales, we will talk about all these under mammals. So what exactly characterizes a mammal? In mammals, scales are absent. Instead, hairs, sweat glands and oil glands are present on skin. So you would have seen that even on, on us humans, we have hair on our body, right? We also have sweat glands because of which we start sweating and there are also oil glands which secrete oils. You would have seen that the skin turns oily sometimes during summers and all, right? So it is because of these kind of glands which are present. And so here again is for the protection of the organism. 
Respiration happens through lungs. They are warm-blooded. That is, they try to maintain their internal body temperature constant. They have a four-chambered heart. How do they reproduce? They mostly give birth to young ones and very few of them lay eggs. So mostly they do not lay eggs and they give birth directly to young ones. For example, in human beings, when a mother give birth, gives birth to her baby, it, it is not an egg, right? It is a small human being only. So it, mostly in case of mammals, they reproduce by giving birth to young ones. They have mammary gland for milk production to feed the young ones. You would have seen that when a small baby is born, uh, they, uh, doctors advise to give her mother's breast milk. That's because the in human beings also, the females have got the mammary glands which produce milk during the lactation period. What is the lactation period? The period, the, the period which follows the birth of a baby. So after a baby is born, those mammary glands are active and they produce milk and that milk is feeded to the newborn baby. So, due to the presence of these mammary glands, this group of uh, animals are known as mammals. So, examples would include lions, rabbits, rat, cat, whales, dogs, human beings. So, there are a couple of examples which fall under the category of mammals. And in mammals, there are several ways of movement. They can walk, they can jump, some of them can even swing from the trees like monkeys. Right? So they have got many different ways of moving from one place to another. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.